Welcome I, back. Hello. I, I'm going to let you go, but I just want to read this. Uh, this just came in, and it's about estimated bidding. So, Sandra Ufumadu says, I have regular power supply in my neighborhood, City College, Abuja, but the estimated bills keep rising ridiculously. Over three. Well, if you have regular power... Um, then you should be paying the estimated bills. No, not the estimated. You should, you should be ready to pay for it. Yeah, but give them a meter. Because I, I had a discussion with the managing director once, and he said to me that the point is, you increase power supply, people are going to have to pay more. Are they prepared for that? Because they're so used to paying so little, because they're used to not having power. Mm. Well, I said, there's some of us who are willing to pay for it if you give it to us. Agreed. Yes, so democracy, I mean, the road to democracy. Democracy Day recognizes the end of military rule in Nigeria and the restoration of a democratic system of government, symbolized by the swearing-in of the first president-elect Olusegun Obasanjo on May 29, 1999, though the day is the subject of some controversy. Many of Nigeria's citizens view the holiday as an opportunity to celebrate democracy and basic human rights. Now, uh, before we came on air, there was very heated conversation in the studio. So just prepare yourself for a very animated and very interesting discussion this morning. And that discussion is going to be taking place with um, Solomon Edoja, who is a former member of the House of Representatives and an APC chieftain. Good morning. Good morning. And next to him is a legal practitioner and a member of the PDP, Mr. Katch Ononuju. I'm not a legal practitioner. I'm an economist. I'm I a apologize. member of the PDP. Thank you very much. Yes, I did say member of the PDP. Yes, I am. Thank you, Katch. And on my right is Mr. Abayomi Mighty, a veteran youth leader and political strategist. And also a proud member of Alliance for Democracy. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> and last but not least is Benga Ademujimi, who is a social entrepreneur and member of the ANN. ANN, Alliance for New Nigeria. Looks like our political like, affiliations are very important this morning. Alliance for Democracy, Alliance for, for New Nigeria. Nigeria. So the, oh, we have alliances. Alliances, alliances on this side, yes. <laughs> and just APC shows and PDP on this the side. The youths are still looking for a new platform, a new way mm. towards building a brand new country. And that's what we are all praying for. I have no doubt all of us will collectively build. The youths are those people who have been deceived, who have been told that they are leaders of tomorrow. Uh, because when I got into school, when we were doing the Ali Must Go protest, no, we were told that youth are, are, are all members elders. of tomorrow. No, the but I found out that even Chifali and Chifali is still there. And Ali no, didn't no. go. Tomorrow yeah. has come, Catch. Let's, let's not even go there. This the is people what who are occupying for. the seat from councillor to the president, answer the president a few, maybe less than 10%. The rest, how do you categorize them? They are youths. That's Governors, House of Assembly, House of... Majority of the people in government today uh -huh. are youth. It's not true. So don't say that we have been recycling our elderly people. Can. Sir, okay, your gentlemen. party youth leader is over 60 years that old. That's who, who name him. I won't mention him here. There is nobody in Sir. my party that is a youth leader that Sir. is above 40 years. The running mates of the AKT state the gubernatorial yeah. candidate. We are talking, he is, just said is, about youth. He's in his 60s. Yes. So that, what no, I'm talking can about. can you define no, what you the just said is. that. You just said that. Because they are in majority. See, the, 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 the fact remains that if going by experience, from what I have seen, hmm. what I have seen, it's not about the youth or no youth. It is about the system. The people that govern so the world system don't think. create itself. No. System don't run itself. System, system, are, created by system are created by people and allowed to be run the, by people. And, and people and if they, it is not greed by the leaders, if it does be by the elders, people. listen to me, sir. A visionary leader no, no. creates yeah, space that is for their tomorrow. When you see for the us in class in 2004, in, in something in South Africa, yes. he said, this year, I have 100 plans for my life and my children. No wonder when he got at 59, nine years before his children Took discuss over Nigeria. his company. Does that make sense to you? No, look, He's a black man. Can you too. discuss Nigeria? There is no who is your plan? There's no succession plan. Who, who? Now, because you, you have no job. It is an abuse of a system for a man over 17 to, to divide for a now, Nigeria. It is an abuse of a system. No, sir. see, the challenge we have, and the challenge you and I have, 
is that here in Nigeria, you don't have a more role model. The people that are rich today are people who cut corner and are smart and got government waivers. Those are no things that you can put in the market. Because we the, are youth, the youth who are now in position, they do worse. Those they during our time, we hear about 10%. So don't generalize. Today, no, sir, don't because generalize. Because we have youth, for, for, we, have, for we, for we give you 10 names here. Yes. Guys, who I will are give you global, 45. who are globally I've been, recognized, I've been into international I've been ambassadors. I've youth work for the past 22 see, years of my life. I, I have just and told you now, tell you, oh, here Anna, in this Nigerian country, youth who is your so role well. model? Stop insulting okay. Nigerian okay. youth. All right, All right. gentlemen. It's it like the APC is very uncomfortable whenever they are completely the reality. Yeah. Okay, yeah. gentlemen, we, gentlemen. Yeah. gentlemen. Yeah. gentlemen. Yeah. We just signed the not too, not too young to rule. Did you sign it? Gentlemen. The GDP is coming. The GDP is coming. Mr. Kahn, who's the GDP? Mr. Kahn, can I divide you quickly? 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 M.K. Abiola, Moshut Kashima Walawa and Abiola yes, yes. have been a vanguard of this not too young to Benga. be for years, for over before he died. Benga. Why watch on YouTube? But for so it is not new. Yes, for 16 years, he never went to life. Yes, this is a Okay, we don't have it. All right, gentlemen. Gentlemen. Why? You, what do you well, have to do? I did warn you guys, didn't I? That's why we signed it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let me, let me begin ah, with you, sir, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mighty. Um, what do you make of the posthumous awards given to um, MQ Abiola and Babagana Kingibe? Well, um, speaking from the um, sentimental perspective, I can say that it's a huge success because some people will, from the angle of sentiment, but speaking in reality, when you want to give a posthumous um, award to such a huge, um, you know, a huge era of democracy, you ensure that every principle that is stood for are honored. And you only name June 12 as an holiday without honoring the precept the man stood for. So I am not going to fall into that trap of enjoying the feeling. Well, if they want to enjoy the feeling like some other people are enjoying it, no problem. But we need to first go back to the original precept that this, this was a man that believed in young people. This was, this, this was a man that created enterprises that allowed the emergence of a whole lot of great people. The Daily Momodus of today, series of them. He created platforms for them. So the best honor you can give to late MK Abiola, a man who influenced me, a man who at the age of eight I campaigned for, if we have to honor him, then we must really respect the principles he stood for. You I was were, you were campaigning at eight. I campaigned. I bought an exercise book and I wrote, I am eight years old, I cannot vote. But please vote for MKU. He made me to get milk because I came from a poor background and there was this milk, we couldn't afford it. And because of the campaign processes, the thing touched me. So I campaigned for him. That was the man that inspired me. So, so if we so must you, actually you, yes, were, you were bought by milk. I wasn't bought by milk. I was bought by the fact that he said something. I still remember vividly. When well, I'm a prodigy, it's just a shame that I, 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 you know, we are in a system that do not recognize prodigy. I'm a prodigy. Right from childhood, I always got in, into what was bigger than my age. He said something then that there was nothing wrong with ensuring that life was made easy for Nigerians. And he was tackled by the opposition, you know, by the other, you know, the, the other party. And he said, I'm going to practice it. And he did it. So what brought me over was the fact that he said, if as a businessman, I can put one or two infusion and the economy is affected, then I will do more as a sitting president. And that moved me. So I wasn't bought by milk. Okay.